Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, let's uh, do a part two to uh, re-explain in a different way um, why we have Flash Player in the control panel and why it doesn't matter if it stays there and why you should not remove it if you're if you don't know what you know really how your PC what software you have. And here's the thing. Once again, so I talked yesterday and posted a video why in the control panel you have a Flash Player uh, right here, Flash Player 32 bits, okay? This is what we call an applet. It's code that enables um, any content that needs Flash to run. Now, it has nothing to do with your browser. This is not what was running in your browser. Your browser had its own Flash Player. It's a completely different thing. That's the first thing you need to know. The second thing is some of you removed it and said, well, you know, you're wrong. I removed it. I got nothing broken. Everything works fine. That's because you have no software that you have installed that uses it. It's as simple as that. And if you have a very modern PC, if your PC is in the last two years, for example, probably if you haven't installed any old software, probably nothing uses it. Because in many cases, it is true that nothing is using it. My own computer, for example, is a computer that's, you know, um, a few months old. I probably have nothing that uses Flash in here because I have not installed old software. The reason this is there is because if you have a PC that's several years old, that's where it gets complicated. If you have a five, six, seven year old PC, for example, running Windows 10, and add to that that you might have some old software running on it. So maybe you've got something that you play, a game. Maybe you've got some old software that you have that dates back to, you know, eight, nine years, but still runs in Windows 10. This is where deleting this can actually crash some software. It won't crash Windows. Get, let's, let's get straight here. It's, it's not Windows that will crash because Windows doesn't need that. It's older software that you might have installed that do need Flash Player runtime routines. And there are a lot of them from seven or eight years ago, nine years ago. It was something that a lot of software did. What they would do is use the Flash runtime for their own animations, for example. Um, so the thing is, first of all, don't go crazy and going and get the uh, you know the tool from Microsoft to delete this. It doesn't matter, and that I want to stress out. It doesn't matter. People matter too much about you know worry too much about things that they shouldn't worry on their PC. There's many other things that you should worry. The other thing is if you removed it and nothing is wrong, you removed it. But you could see it come back someday, and you know why? If you would have, for example. And I've seen one case where somebody was mentioning, I removed it, but it's back. It's back because you installed a piece of software that needed it. And it, it reinstalled it because it has to use this applet to run. So or using an older software that would need Flash Player applets would reinstall this Flash in your Windows 10. So the thing is, if you want to remove it and you're sure that there's nothing on your PC that uses it anyway, you can remove it. It won't crash Windows, like I said. If you are using a PC and you're not sure exactly what you have and what you have installed and if it uses it or not, don't touch it. It doesn't matter. Just leave it alone. Once again, this is not Flash Player in your browser. It's runtime applets for Flash Player that software that you might install or might have already installed could maybe use. And uh, so leave it alone. And the, the reason, one of the, the things that you should notice is why didn't Microsoft not release the KB uh, through Windows Update? It would have been easy for them to just push it through Windows Update to remove this. It's very simple. Microsoft knows that there's some software out there that uses this Flash Player applet. And that's why they're not pushing it. That's why... They tell you, well, if you want to remove it completely, here we have a, you know, little routine that will remove it for you. But they have not pushed it because they know it's going to break tons and tons of software and people are going to go crazy. 
That's the explanation of this Flash player. And once again, it doesn't matter if it's there. Just ignore it. And, you know, if you get the, the tool, and if you have a very recent PC, like I said, probably you're not using it. I probably am not using it. But you know what? I'm going to leave it there because I don't care. It doesn't matter for me that it's there. And, you know, if I uh, install or use an old software someday that installs and that I want to check, well, you know, it's, it's in any ways, it might come back if you remove it. And that's another thing you need to know is that, you know, if you use old software, and, you know, I let's stress out, this is using old software, using something that's recent. Nothing is using Flash Player in the software in the recent years. But when we pass the, let's say, five years of software, let's say that anything from 2015 and before, that's where you start, that's where software might actually be using Flash Player. And a lot of programs from the past did use this. So that's why it's there, and that's why Microsoft isn't pushing any automatic update to remove Flash Player. They might at some point, they might at some point say, well, now that's enough. We're pushing that KB, you know, um, Windows update to um, remove it. It's official. And that is not an impossible thing that could happen someday, but it's not going to happen now because they know that there could be software, and there is. I mean, if they push it now, there will be people complaining that some of their favorite games or favorite software of the past that they've been running and running for the past years is now broken. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.